Both Akash NG and KM SAM are surface to air missiles, designed to intercept and destroy aerial threats such as aircraft, drones, and missiles. Initially, the Akash system developed by DRDO started as a short range surface to air missile designed for defending against fighter aircraft and drones. However, as new types of aerial threats like low radar cross section targets and high speed cruise missiles emerged, this led to the development of Akash NG, the upgraded version of Akash system. On the other hand, the KM SAM system developed by South Korea with Russian assistance, evolved in response to South Korea's need for a multi-layered missile defense system, particularly given the threat of ballistic missile launches from North Korea. And today we will compare these both missile systems, India's Akash NG and South Korea's KM SAM. Let's talk about dimensions first. The Akash NG missile system has a length of approximately 5.5 meters, making it a relatively compact surface to air missile. It weighs around 700 kilograms, with a diameter of about 0.35 meters. In comparison, the KM SAM missile is slightly shorter, with a length of around 4.6 meters. It is also lighter, weighing approximately 400 kilograms, but has a slightly wider diameter of about 0.40 meters. Coming to the range and altitude, the Akash NG has an interception range of 50 to 80 kilometers. This is a major upgrade from earlier versions like the Akash MK1, which had a range of around 30 kilometers. In terms of altitude, Akash NG can engage aerial targets at an altitude of up to 15 kilometers. On the other hand, the KM SAM has an operational range of 40 kilometers and can intercept targets at altitudes of 15 kilometers. With its longer interception range, the Akash NG takes the edge in this section. Talking about speed, Akash NG can travel at a supersonic speed of Mach 2.5 to Mach 3.5, which means it can reach speeds of around 2,500 to 4,300 km per hour. This high speed allows it to intercept fast-moving targets like fighter jets, drones, and cruise missiles within its operational range. KM SAM, on the other hand, is designed for even higher speed engagements, particularly against ballistic missiles. It has a top speed of Mach 4.5 which translates to around 5,500 km per hour. This extreme speed is necessary for intercepting ballistic missiles and high-altitude aircraft at rapid reaction times. Due to its superior speed, the KM SAM secures the win in this category. Let's talk about the radar systems. Akash NG is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar, known for its ability to track multiple targets simultaneously. AESA is one of the most advanced radar technologies. It is part of the system's multifunction radar, which handles search, track, and fire control in one platform. KM SAM uses a phased array radar system, based on Russian S-400 technology. This radar allows simultaneous tracking and engagement of multiple targets at high altitudes and speeds. KM SAM's radar is highly effective in high-altitude defense giving it a key advantage in situations where quick detection and interception are essential. Thanks to its high-altitude defense capabilities, KM SAM comes out ahead in the radar systems section. Talking about guidance systems, Akash NG uses a radio frequency seeker for active homing guidance. This means that once the missile is launched, it can autonomously track and home in on its target using the RF seeker. In addition, the system supports mid-course correction using data links allowing operators to adjust the missile's trajectory after launch. This ensures higher accuracy and effectiveness, especially against moving targets. KM SAM employs an inertial navigation system during the initial phase of flight, which is supplemented by active radar homing in the terminal phase. The missile is guided by radar until the final phase, when its active radar seeker locks onto the target. The thrust vectoring control used in KM SAM gives the missile enhanced agility, allowing it to perform sharp maneuvers to intercept high-speed targets like ballistic missiles. Due to its agility and thrust vectoring control, KM SAM wins in the guidance systems department. When we talk about propulsion, Akash NG uses a dual-pulse solid rocket motor. This propulsion system significantly improves the missile's speed and range over earlier versions of Akash, such as the Akash MK1 and MK2, the dual pulse motor allows the missile to adjust its thrust in different phases of flight, providing both high speed interception and enhanced maneuverability. KM SAM uses a solid fuel rocket motor combined with thrust vector control. 
This system provides the missile with the ability to make sharp maneuvers during its flight path, which is crucial for intercepting fast-moving, high-altitude targets, including ballistic missiles. In this case, KM SAM's thrust vector control gives it the upper hand in propulsion. Let's talk about the warhead. The Akash NG is equipped with a high explosive warhead weighing approximately 60 kilograms. The missile uses a proximity fuse, meaning the warhead detonates when it comes close to the target, ensuring effective destruction without needing a direct hit. The KM SAM carries a fragmentation warhead. The warhead weighs about 24 kilograms and is optimized for engaging high speed, high altitude targets, like Akash NG. It also uses a proximity fuse which detonates the warhead when the missile is close to the target, maximizing the likelihood of neutralizing it. With its heavier warhead, Akash NG takes the win in this section. Coming to mobility, Akash NG is highly mobile, designed for quick deployment on both static and mobile platforms like trucks and other military vehicles. Thanks to its compact canisterized launcher, Further enhances its deployability, its mobility also enables it to be relocated quickly between different defensive positions, providing flexibility in both tactical and strategic deployments. KM SAM also features a mobile platform, using a transporter erector launcher system, which allows the system to be deployed in different locations quickly. However, its focus is more on stationary, high-altitude defense making it less agile compared to Akash NG in terms of moving between different terrains. It is typically deployed in a fixed area for optimal defense coverage. Akash NG's superior mobility gives it the clear advantage in this category. Talking about the maintenance, Akash NG is designed to be easily maintainable, which is a key factor in its operational deployment. It uses modular components that allow for faster repair and maintenance. India's focus on indigenous production also simplifies logistics, as spare parts and maintenance teams are locally available. KM SAM, being based on more advanced Russian S-400 technology, is more complex and may require more specialized maintenance. Its phased array radar and vertical launch system necessitate detailed and regular maintenance routines to ensure high readiness. So, in terms of maintenance, Akash NG wins. Coming to the cost, the Akash NG system is considered a more cost-effective option, primarily due to its indigenous development in India. The estimated cost of acquisition for each Akash NG battery is around 30 to 50 million dollars. This includes the missile systems, radar, launchers, and command units. KM SAM is significantly more expensive, largely due to its advanced technology and partial reliance on Russian S-400 components. The estimated cost of acquisition per KM SAM battery is reported to be around 100 to 150 million dollars. This higher price includes the complex radar systems, vertical launchers, and interceptor missiles. Given its cost effectiveness, Akash NG is the winner in this section. In conclusion, both Akash NG and KM SAM are advanced surface to air missile systems with specific strengths. Each system plays a vital role in their respective countries' defense strategies tailored to the unique threats they face. Which missile system do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.